the twelfth round in the divine will, Jesus in Egypt. My dear infant Jesus, you have now arrived in Egypt, accompanied by Joseph and Mary, and I realise that you have endured continual sorrows and tears, as you have been completely forgotten and abandoned by all. The three of you are forced to enter a small run-down hut that has been poorly repaired and is exposed to the wind and rain, as no one in the world has offered you a decent place to stay. Oh, how you sob, my tender infant Jesus, in seeing your little humanity experience the same rejection as your adorable will. No soul is willing to freely offer itself up in order to become an indwelling for your divine will in whom you long to reside and reign. Although you have come to earth to offer your will to souls, it remains unheeded and is left wandering about in search of a loving response. For a good 6,000 years, your will has entreated mankind to allow you to take up in them your indwelling, but has found no response. And you, my love, weep out of the sorrow over those souls who reject your divine fear. My heavenly infant Jesus, I see that while our mother weeps with you, she hides her own tears to quiet your cry and offers you her beautiful soul as a perpetual indwelling of your divine will. I wish to join her in drying the tears from your lovely face. I impress my I love you upon every tear you shed. And as you sob, I impress a loving kiss upon your trembling lips. I implore your divine fiat and offer my heart to your eternal fiat as a perpetual indwelling. My beloved infant Jesus, the centre of my life, during your stay in this small run-down hut, I desire to follow all of your acts and those of the Sovereign Heavenly Lady. When she rocks you in the cradle, I want to rock you also and help you go to sleep with the lullaby of my gentle, I love you, I love you as she embroiders for you swaddling clothes. In the thread that courses through her maternal fingers, I fuse my words. I love you, I bless you, I thank you, and I adore you. So that once our mother has dressed you, you may acknowledge that your cloths are interwoven also with my love that implores your divine fiat on earth. Heart of my heart, as you begin to take your first tottering steps, I impress my I love you on the ground beneath your little feet, so that my I love you may extend itself beneath them. I wish to shelter you in my arms, so that when you totter, I may immediately embrace you and press you to my heart. My heavenly infant Jesus, I see that no sooner have you been weaned than you begin to walk on your own. Although very small, you walk away from your mother. You bend your little knees and kneel on the bare ground and with your arms open, pray and weep for the salvation of mankind. You implore with ardent sighs the reign of the kingdom of your divine will on earth. Oh, how fast your little heart beats, as though it were about to burst from such ardent love and sorrow. My little Jesus, allow me to place my I love you 
under your little knees, so that my I love you may soften the ground and make it less hard on your tender knees. Allow me to press my I love you between your open hands and support your little arms with my own arms so that you may not endure any discomfort. And while I support you, my darling infant Jesus, take me in your little arms and offer me to the Heavenly Father as the little daughter of your will and grant me the grace to always allow your will to reign in me and may it reign in all souls. Amen. Fiat, fiat, fiat.